School District Spotlight, sponsored by Go Public Gulf Coast. Our School District Spotlight series this morning is highlighting a program that gives students a head start towards specialized fields with the potential for high paying jobs. Joining us today, Phil Edwards, Superintendent of Angleton Independent School District, Dr. Millicent Valak, President of Brazosport College, and students taking part in this innovative program, Cannon and Jacob. Gannon and Jacob. <laughs> I think a lot of parents, um, you know, we, what we think about schools where we left off right. decades ago, we have no idea some of the exciting things that are happening in our schools today. It's very much changed than what it was when we went to school. Uh, there's a lot more opportunities to get kids in the job market and meet workforce demands, and that's what this program so we started out to do and is working towards doing those things for our kids in school. Yeah, and because, you know, years ago, I remember a, a project that came out and they said that the workforce is not here for the Correct. jobs that are coming our way. Right. And so that's when several folks got busy, including our higher institutions of learning. So tell us about this partnership. Well, it's a fabulous partnership in the sense that we work very closely with four school districts to bring students in, and they're going to have a very streamlined pathway and be able to have an associate's degree within one year of graduation with, as you said, extremely high labor market outcomes. But the big plus, I think, for uh, our taxpayers is the sense that these labs that we have on our campus mm -hmm. are now utilized by five institutions rather than one. Yeah, all right, so being efficient there. Uh, Gannon and Jacob, both of you uh, play sports as well, and so all this kind of integrates uh, well into your extracurricular activities as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. What do you like about the program? Um, I, I really like how uh, the, like it gives us the opportunity to go to college for a year and then we can go into the workforce right after that and get an associate's degree. Yeah, knowing what to do, yes, right? And, and you can choose to go beyond that if you want to or not. And what do you like about the program? Uh, kind of like he said, um, as soon as we get done with high school, we already have a year done out and out of the way, so we only need one more after high school and we're ready to go. Yeah, with what would you like to do when you grow up? Although oh, you look pretty grown to me right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, go to be an operator at a plant. Uh huh. Same thing. Yeah. Become an operator. And and that's you're really impacting your local community Absolutely. too because we have a huge petrochemical uh, plants or lo lots of them down in our area and this is a workforce needs in these areas, uh, instrumentation process technology that which is what this program addresses and so they need workers and we have kids good kids like these who can go into those programs very quickly and earn a very good living wage job. And one of the other benefits for the kids in the program is all the expenses are paid for. It's absolutely free to the students. That's and amazing. so the, all three years they'll graduate with the associate's degree and not have any debt at all. Yeah, that is amazing. Because you know that's such a big problem right now. Take us back to how this kind of all got started in, in y'all's area. I will. Um, we have been working with our local school districts for a long time on courses like dual credit, mm -hmm. but it had been more of just taking courses that would prepare them for transfer, and we decided as a group, let's focus on regional labor market needs. Uh, you know, one of the things to think about when you're in the petrochemical industry is for every engineer they hire, they need seven operators. Mm -hmm. So the numbers are there, and with the explosive growth that we have going on in Brazoria County right now, close to $30 billion in plant expansion, mm -hmm. and an aging demographic of retirements coming, this just made perfect sense. Yeah, and you know, there's a lot more talk now too about uh, do we necessarily need all the four-year degrees, and if you can hit the ground running with a right. job that can become a career, right. this is the way to do it, and also much more targeted education. You have that partnership with those mm -hmm. plants that say, mm -hmm. this is how we do it, right? right. And you can yeah. combine those two things. You're nodding your head. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> what are some of the things that you do in school that, that you think are really gonna help you when you get that job? That we learn about the different machinery and stuff there at the plant that can help us like understand it better and we have hands-on at the at the school because there's a plant right outside the school. Yeah, and that hands-on thing, that's mm -hmm. so important too. We kind of, I think for a while in education, missed out on the skills, right. uh, skill training that we have. Mm -hmm. We used to have you know, woodworking and, right. and all that type of stuff and we, we kind of missed out on that and now we're going beyond that. And so for you, you feel confident, I, I would imagine it makes you feel a little bit more at ease mm -hmm. that when you graduate, that you know that you have a high chance of getting a job that can pay the bills. Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we have so one of the things is that these are living wage jobs that these kids are going to be able to go to. That they can, as these kids get older, they're going to be able to support their families. Uh, 
and provide good lives for them and uh, for them yeah. and the people they're going to take care yeah. of. And you're going to say? I was just going to say that we have the hands-on experience, so we know what we're doing instead of just trying to go off of what a textbook says. Yeah, d exactly. Right. Yeah. You c combine the two things. Here's the practical and the, and the theory mm -hmm. of the whole thing. All right. Well, thank you all very much um, for being mm -hmm. here, and I, I really love to be able to highlight. Like I said, a, a lot of us don't re realize what's happening mm -hmm. in our public schools, and we got great stuff happening because you're going to pay our social security bills. <laughs> okay. <laughs> our school district spotlight highlights the great things happening in public schools around the Houston area and your school district might be next. For more information, log on to gopublicgulfcoast.com.